Hi, welcome to Mark Miller Subaru's first ever video weblog. Uh, we're hoping to try and do this every couple of weeks, just update you guys on Subaru news, special offers, and then a service tip of the week. Something we also want to do is have a question and answer session where you guys can send in questions through our Facebook or Twitter accounts, and I'll do my best to answer them about anything you want to know about Subaru, from future product to service questions, anything there. So just send in your questions via Facebook and we'll see if we can put them on the next video log. Um, as far as Subaru news, just want to start with 2012 Imprezas. They are here. We are starting to get supplies in. First of all, sold orders have started coming in, but we're actually starting to get some dealer inventory in in the next week. So if you're interested in coming down, driving one, seeing what they're like, come on down anytime. Both stores should have inventory starting next week. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the, there's coming both the four-door and five-door model, and here's the special kicker on them. All-wheel drive, 36 mile per gallon highway, which is unheard of in the auto industry. Uh, call either one of our stores, ask for a salesperson, and they'll give you availability on whether we have one ready for test driving. Uh, next issue coming up is the 2013 BRZ. For those of you who haven't heard of it, Subaru has actually been working with Toyota over the past three years to develop a sport coupe. So it's a two-door coupe built for just to handle the road. It's a 200 horsepower, two liter engine. We're expecting it late spring. Um, should be a real fun car. It's gonna be very limited availability. We'll be on a sold order basis probably, but we should have more information of that early next year. Uh, other new model coming out for us is a 2013 XV Crosstrek. Uh, it's a five door Impreza with a raised suspension and cladding on the wheel wells. It's gonna be introduced as its very own new model and we're, they're expecting to make this a volume model for Subaru, so we should be seeing quite a few of them come this fall. And the expectation on it is that they will eventually put the hybrid technology into it in the fall of 2013. Uh, it's a higher ground clearance than the Impreza, so it actually puts it in the crossover segment of the market. Uh, to see both the pictures of both of these, just go to our website. You'll see it in the news section of our website at markmillersubaru.com. You should be able to see a good pictures and some information on it. We should have that posted up later today if it's not posted already. Um, other news from Subaru, they're really chasing an all-time sales record. They're about 20,000 cars away today, and I really do think they should be able to get it. It would make them the only manufacturer to have three years in a row of sales increases which during this economy is quite a feat and is really a testament to the products they put out. They've really been pushing on this, which has led to really great deals and special offers coming up through the end of the year. Uh, through the end of the year, as far as from dealership news here, uh, we are having our Share the Love event, which is an annual event for Subaru, which means that for the next two weeks through January 3rd, with every new car purchase, Subaru will be donating $250 to one of five charities. The charities this year are ASPCA, American Forests, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Meals on Wheels, and the Special Olympics. So five great charities. Uh, we've been trying to do some events here and there. We have a Meals on Wheels delivery. We've been doing it every day from both stores. Uh, we've delivered over 100 meals already this month. We did a special event with Special Olympics. We've been handing out trees for American Forests, and we've had a couple pet adoptions here. So we've really been having a lot of fun with the event this year and really trying to participate. Um, through this event, They've also introduced, trying to push this car, I'm trying to hit their record, they have 0% for up to 36 months on all models, except for in President WRX, and 1.9% financing up to 72 months on the same models. Um, as far as 2011 goes, usually a great time of year to buy those. Because of the inventory situations we've been having, there are really only three 2011s left at either of our stores. They're all at our Midtown location. So there's two limited Foresters and a 2011 STI that we're offering great deals on for the next week. We need to get them out before the end of the year, so we'll be taking any offer pretty much. So give a call to our Midtown store for the excellent deals on those. There's no 2011s at Southtown, but we have great deals on all of our 2012 models as well. Uh, Year-end, we have over 200 new cars available on the lots, another 80 or so expected in the next week or two, so it's a great selection. We finally have some cars to sell for you to you guys, and we're making the deals right now, so we've got to get this thing done by the end of the year. Uh, like I said, we're going to have a service tip each time in one of the, in these weblogs. Uh, this week, it's going to be check engine light. Uh, most common thing for people when they see a check engine light is to go check your gas cap. Uh, most of the time it's a loose gas cap which causes an error in the emission system. So go check, just tighten it, restart your engine, see if the check engine light goes off. If it doesn't, call down to one of our service departments, make an appointment and we'll check it out. But like I said, the most common thing we get on a check engine light is just that your gas cap's a little loose. So we'll go ahead and check that or feel free to call our service advisors, they'll answer any questions you have. 
Well, that'll do it for our first ever Mark Miller Subaru video weblog. Uh, feel free to check our website for inventory and check for any news that we might have coming up. Uh, please give us any feedback you have on this through Facebook or Twitter and let us know if you like it and what kind of questions you want answered in the future. Thank you very much.